Distracted driving has been named the second leading cause of fatal truck accidents. Distracted driving is one of the ways that they describe it is you, there's no reaching, no holding, no dialing, no texting, no reading. It is essential that you're always keeping your eyes on the road when you're driving. And looking at this incident right here, imagine for a moment if this driver hadn't been paying attention the way he was. This would have been a terrible accident. But instead, because the driver was alert and awake, paying attention, he's able to avoid the dangerous maneuver by the car. Distracted driving. So when they're discussing it, things like no reaching, what they mean is anytime you need to move from your seat enough to have to almost lean up and reach out, that's a distraction. You don't ever want to do that while driving the truck. You'd be better off finding an exit, getting out, getting what you need, and then getting back in the driver's seat. No holding. You should never have anything in your hand from a drink to a... Uh, cell phone, anything that could distract you away should not be involved. Your hand should be on the wheel. No dialing. You certainly don't ever want to dial your uh, phone with your fingers. It's got to be a hands-free device. No texting. No reading. You don't want to have that BOL and read something to your dispatcher. No. Find a safe place to stop and call them back. Drivers can be fined up to $2,750 for distracted driving. Repeat offenses will result in the driver being disqualified or put out of service for up to 120 days. Violations are considered serious traffic violations and penalties are taken from existing FMCSA guidelines. Distracted driving named second leading cause of fatal truck accidents. How likely is the risk of an accident? Well, if you're texting while driving, you are 23.2 times as likely to have a serious accident. Now, a few examples of what does happen if you are in a crash and it's serious and you were distracted because of something you were doing. Here's a story where a truck driver is in a triple fatal pileup was reportedly distracted by coffee. The driver of the semi, 34-year-old Matthew Lewis Small of Granville, Michigan, stated he was northbound on I-65, looked down to set his coffee mug down when he ran into slowing traffic. It appears Mr. Small collided with all eight vehicles as he plowed through the backup. Police said following the investigation, Small was charged with three felony counts of reckless homicide. A little closer to home in Downers Grove, Illinois, a truck driver, Frank Hightower of Rockford, faces a charge for aggravated use of an electronic communication device causing a death, which is a Class 4 felony. And the last one was a judge in Hennepin County, Minnesota. He sentenced the guy for three years because he was watching porn right before his great big accident. Now, these aren't people who all confessed, hey, I'm looking at my phone. The records from the phone companies will be able to show what you're doing on your phone right before the accident. My own phone tells me exactly how much time I spent on my phone, and how many minutes of it were while I was driving, which fortunately for me is always zero. So I can't stress enough how important it is you keep yourself engaged and your eyes on the road at all times. It's not only going to save your life someday, but it could save someone else's. So please do everything you can to keep all distractions away from you and drive safe out there.